proud to welcome all of you, especially Pawan Kalyan Garu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's a great honor in many respects. I want to thank, I want to thank uh, our mayor, Donches, and police department. When I, two weeks ago, when I got a call, I was, I've been in Nashua for over 25 years. This is my home. My children were born here. And it gives me distinct pleasure and honor to invite all the guests here on the stage and who have driven for hours. And I want to tell you that Nashua is a great place, a wonderful place to raise children, family, and a community to live in. And thank you for Nashua larger community to have welcomed us, embraced our family, and together we have loved. It went on. No, I got it. Okay. I would like to take a moment to address all the Indian community members here in the audience. I think this is the largest gathering of Indian community we have had in Nashua. First of many, thank you, Pavan Garu, for coming. And it gives me distinct pleasure to say this is the community I came from. And a moment when we can show the solidarity, you know, diversity, and our energy to live harmoniously, peace, harmony, and friendship. And as immigrants, what we can bring to our host community and how we can support and raise our family in our host community with the core values of Indian values. We, we have, especially first generation immigrants, we are very lucky, lucky to have had the best of both worlds. Being born and brought up in Mysore, both my husband and myself, we got our education, and we came with two suitcases. That's the story of every immigrant in this country. With two suitcases and education in our pocket. And education, education, education. Knowledge is our asset. And how do we honor or harness this human potential? And when I heard about uh, Pavan Kalyan, the energy and the motivation and how he has energized the youth of India and how you're able to harness that energy is amazing. We come from a democratic society. The largest democracy in the world is India. We are in a democracy which is the oldest democracy in the world. And so we have a very common values, democratic values. Growing up in India, we grew up Hindu, Muslim, Christianity, Jewish. It didn't matter the faith. It didn't matter the sector. We all grew up together in a diversity and harnessing that diversity and celebrating together. And that's what I see today on the dais as well as all the people right here. And this is an opportunity for all of us, all of us, to show how we can come together and channel our energy 
channel our energy in a constructive, productive way where we can harness the energy to build peace, harmony, and community together. And this is the beginning, and I thank you, uh, Pavan Kalyan. And I have to thank a very special person who started this. It all started very New Hampshire way. Rajesh Kamiredi came a few, uh, was it last month? <laughs> Whatever. We had this simple conversation. And, you know, many of you from Nashua in New Hampshire know that I ran for office. You know, I now call you guys to come and uh, campaign, canvas when it's uh, election time. And I've very repeatedly said, I'm a representative not just for Indian community. It's for community that I have made a home. And it's important to think about it. Think about how we can contribute to not only to our own family, but also community around us. How do we share our core values, our positive core values? So we have done uh, integrating Diwali into Great American Downtown Holiday Stroll, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. This is the second year we had Diaz and sharing our heritage. And I've done Shankranti, sharing, uh, as, uh, you know, yeah, Yellu that we do in Karnataka as a trail mix at the State House to build friendship, harmony, and love as a community. So I'm doing my small for as an alil seva or a squirrel building the bridge for uh, Rama Yatra, right? So our core value is sahanubhuti, that is empathy, and tolerance are the main tenets of our upbringing. Tolerance and empathy and cooperation between everyone. We have the Indian Prime Minister who declared the yoga, International Yoga Day in June. And in India, we have had Indian Prime Minister, uh, women, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh. So that shows our democracy, young democracy, has shown diversity. And we can use that lesson that we have learned to share in our community here. So I'm, I'm trying to say a few Telugu words, but I'm not, you know. What I ask of you, every single one of you, is go back to your community. Make a commitment to engage with the local organizations. It could be small, be it political, cultural, or community, or social organization, such as local soup kitchens, local shelters, international organization like Rotary. And we do a lot with the, you know, Indian associations, Indian Association of Greater Boston, Indian Association. We have Indian associations. That's little silos. Let's work together as the larger community. Have some conversations. Engage in bringing peace and harmony in your community, your city, town, nation, and in the world. That's how we build peace, one heart at a time, one uh, day at a time. And I think we have a great opportunity and we have a great role models, the leaders on the uh, Dias here, and especially leaders like young leaders like. But, and again, my heartfelt thank you to City of Nashua, State of New Hampshire, and everybody here that has supported me, and especially my family, my husband, and my children who back me up. That's where it all starts. Thank you.